you were the first woman and the first NFL cheerleader uh, to co-win the Pop Warner uh, Humanitarian Award for all the service that you do during the uh, pandemic and continuing to do, doing both at the exact same time, being a cheerleader and a frontline ICU worker. How did that make you feel? Oh, it was a huge honor, a huge. Um, I had no idea, you know, I was even like eligible or that, you know, yeah. Pop Warner was um, debating to give it to a woman and a cheerleader or a nurse and things like that. So I feel incredibly grateful. And also just Deserve like, <laughs> thank you. Um, a lot of what we do in cheerleading is, is mentor, you know, young women or little girls. And I think like the idea of having like a science-based career, any kind of career, but especially being in science, you know, cause it's special to me, not that it's any more important, but, and, you know, being able to have a successful career, do what you love and be a cheerleader um, and kind of make a difference in both realms. Not saying that me personally, I have ever, you know, made a difference. Like it's, it's a group effort. It's all healthcare workers and all cheerleaders, but um, it, it feels really, really great to be honored. And um, I'm just like so grateful, undeserving for sure. But for it to even just be like recognized is huge. And and I wish honestly that all healthcare workers during this pandemic, you know, feel like they are being recognized and feel like yeah. they're making a difference because they really are.